using CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. Simple smash and grab, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device. I'm curious, is there any way to get this AI a body in the real world, too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? <laughs> Would you want to be stuck inside the simulation forever? Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell just in case. Along with the CIDs, Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained force recursive feedback projector. Kenzie, that sounds like complete bullshit, even coming from you. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Oh. Oh, shit. What did you do? I touched it. Well, touch it different next time. What the hell, Kenzie? Don't pin this on me. These things are broken. Would you blow up on me? Yes! Finally. Quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. How far away do I need to be? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. How long is this whole thing gonna take? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. A little bit more. Okay. The CID is cracked and clear for uploading. Inputting the AI code, now. Great. How long until the upload is complete? 55 minutes. F 55 minutes? These things usually take like three to five tops. Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant and this might go faster. Why didn't we go there first? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. Will Sid download faster? Well, probably, but... And we're taking this thing there. Once Sid's up and running, how long until we can use him to get my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Shondi? I, uh... I think we should get Matt. Miller?! Oh my god, why?! Hey, Matt turned himself around after Steelport. He joined MI6, helped us with Cyrus Temple, and... You know, he's... Useful. Ish. Useful? You have a lot on your plate, Kinsey, with all this... Cyber, what's it? I figured you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Set it up. Flip the switch and done. Excellent. How long now? Uh, K Kinsey? That's just part of the process. Apparently the sweary part of the process. The full download should only take about 16 minutes. Is there anything you can do to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast! Sid is overloading! Overloading? Overheating! Get to him and cool him down! Okay, okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How long until the download's done? Three minutes. Good. Should give me just enough time to fight up a few waves of zen. We get Sid one of these murder bots instead. Do you really want to give some rogue AI an exoskeleton equipped with a complement of weapons and a history of violence? Probably not. Besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity. Download complete. All right. Time to kill us some aliens. Oh, God. I'm going to regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Oh, Sid. We're going to get along famously. Shit, this is just great. Guess I'm stronger. Whoa, whoa, this is... Why is my brain on fire? Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. All right, we got Sid. So, how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I 
mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid, then. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Hey, Kenzie, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> I just have to deal with it. <gasps> this is ain't my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Could it be as simple as 3D? No, 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 no! Don't put in a space! Oops. Sorry. Finger slipped. Finally. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. What do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh, touche. That's two. One more to go. Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace, and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. <laughs> Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. I never did like that play. You're coming up on Matt's prison. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. You just keep those reassurances coming. What's going on? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty, and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself 
to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? because you used a rocket in place of a bullet, because you wouldn't submit to my rule. In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. <sighs> Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Behold my empire. Not very big. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. One. What am I looking at? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Yeah, but why does the pirate have a raven? <sighs> oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ooh, guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? Um, hi? All right, just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. I need a stable environment to work from inside the simulation. There's several things you can do around Brixton so I can set it up. Also, I should be able to create an upgrade to your blast with this. Sure, why not? Every store you hack feeds me security data. I can use that data to insert a virus, which will open up a doorway back to the ship. So go hack while I work on the virus. Got it. 
For a superior intelligence, this wiring must have been contracted to the lowest bidder. Hey, Kinsey, you wanna fuck? Let's go. I need help inserting a virus into the simulation, among other things. Do this, and I will reward you. Do not do this, and you will get nothing. Understand? Yeah, 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 I got it. Why does everybody look at me as if I will kill them in their sleep? I am glad Kinsey was able to find me a body in the real world as well. This is much more satisfying. I would tell you the secret of curing any disease. However, I do not know what I would ask for as compensation yet. And no, I do not take IOUs. I've been thinking a lot about those days on the campaign trail. I bet we can use a lot of those techniques against the Zim. Sounds like a strange comparison, but okay. I was 12 hours into Dead Island when the Zin attacked. Now I'll never finish. I won't forgive them for that. We can't hide from the Zin forever. We're gonna have to make a last stand eventually. That's really not gonna work for me. I hope you understand. I think that would just be weird, don't you? Look, you're my boss. I just can't let that dynamic get ruined. You're really making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. Us talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power Don't armor... ruin this, Keith. That landing could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Man, look at the guns on this thing, huh? Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... Uh, no guns? You're killing me, Kinsey. I found you power armor, because they're just missing stuff. Kinsey, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh. Oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and, oh, look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess with a brush. I'll find another door. Oh, shit, one of the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? They didn't really label these things, Kinsey, but I hope so. Get away from me! I made it! Whoa, 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 Matt, relax. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kinsey was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that mech have? Yeah, Kinsey said the guns are missing... stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. I don't ever sell it. It's a gun, Matt. I got it. More than just a gun. Kinsey, tell me you're close. I'm close. I'm also lying. But I'll be there as soon as I can. They're on our tail. Get to the turret. Matt, take the other turret. Pulled your ass out of prison, Matt. The least you can do is help protect the ship. Please. If your aim was any worse, you'd be shooting yourself. Okay, I think we lost it. I'm in front of a passageway. I'll need a minute to open the door. What's it doing, Kinsey? Okay, get ready. Shoot the panel on the left. I, I, I mean, the right, the right. Kinsey! I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. 
Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Boss, I'm picking up major readings coming from your area. I think... that one of those giant aliens are coming. I guess Zinyak's pissed about Matt. Prison, but... Kenzie, I don't want to hear it. Oh, look, I'm just saying, don't get your hopes up. I know I'm right. I'm surprised Zinyak went back to the well and hid this inside a broken shillelagh again. According to Matt's data, all of the submatrices are inside broken shillelaghs. It makes no sense. Zinyak's big on reuse. I'm coming, Johnny. It was on this plane where Shandi and I lost our best friend. Johnny Gat helped found the Saints originally, and Shandi looked up to him ever since she joined. He sacrificed himself to save us. Now I want our friend back. Damn it, where's my powers? Your powers only work in your simulation. You're on your own. Fine. Well, I'm not letting that stop me. I'm coming, Johnny. Kenzie, the door won't open. I don't understand. Oh, is something the matter? Oh, fuck you. Poor Johnny is on the other side of that door. And you can't even muster the courage to open it. He's going to die. Alone. And none of his friends will even get to see the body to bury him. Johnny. I let you down. I let us all down. We never should have ran. We should have stayed and fought, but we couldn't because... We couldn't because of me. And I know people say it's not my fault, but if the boss didn't have to protect me, you would be standing here right now. I'm so sorry, John. <laughs> It wasn't your fault. We left him to die. He didn't save our lives so we could feel sorry for ourselves. Yes, I hate to interrupt this touching moment, but we haven't even got to the best part of this plane ride. Oh, fuck me. I'm coming, Johnny! Oh, fuck. Kinsey, what happened to Shawnee? I, I don't know. It's like she's everywhere. I gotta find her. Oh, <laughs> this should be entertaining. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck's going on, Kenzie? I don't... Boss? Boss, are you there? K Kenzie? Great. Well, this can be good. Jess, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hold on, why are you in a nightclub? What happened to the plane? This is Shawnee's nightmare, Kenzie, trust me. This is where I'm supposed to be. Let her go, veteran child. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Will somebody tell me what's going on here? You think you can take her from me? Use the stun gun. Thanks for the help. Anytime. Sh Shandi? That is not Shandi. Uh, actually, Kenzie, yeah, this is. No, something's screwed up. Shandi doesn't act like this. She has like one emotion. Pissed. This girl needs a bowl fast. It's fine. Just move on. Not yet, my friend. I think Veteran Child deserves a second chance with our fair Jezebel. Maybe several chances. That's a lot of veteran children. Veteran Childs? Proper plurals take singular construction. Oh, you know, is this really the time? You're remarkably calm right now. Hey, sometimes your exes try to kill you. What can you do, you know? You want a party? No. This isn't me. Shandi, are you okay? This is getting weird. Get out. What's her problem? My problem? My problem is that I used to be you. This isn't a born again thing, is it? No, she's future you. Makes sense. So what happens to me? What do you mean? Look, Shandi, let's get out no, no, of- No, 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 I want to hear what I have to say to myself. What did you mean, what happens to me? Well, evidently, I become a total frigid bitch, so I just wanted to know what's up. Oh, you mean 
I stop sitting around smoking drugs from a broken light bulb all day? Guys, maybe we should... Yeah, you're lame now. You used to have fun. I used to be useless. What? The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry. And fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. I hate me. Let's get out of here. Hey, boss. I could really use some help getting Zinyak back for sticking me in that personal fucking hell of a mind prison. I'll tell you what to do. You go piss in Zinyak's plans. Got it? Fair enough. How long do you think we'll have to live in here? I mean, it's not bad and all, but this can't be permanent. At least on the ship, I can get a little peace and quiet from my other half. I'd kill for a nice hot shower right about now. You know, one with privacy. I don't want to talk about what happened in my simulation, so don't ask. Okay, I've isolated the best place to insert a virus into this area of the simulation to weaken it enough for a new doorway. I'm sure there will be lots of defenses thrown at you, so defend the area while everything gets uploaded. Good news, I was able to open the door in the southwest of the city. Turns out this method is really useful. Think you can keep going with it? If it works, sure thing. I am surprised your planet did not have a stronger defense system against intergalactic attacks. Perhaps that is why you were so easily conquered. All right, Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Uh, maybe? Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. Kenzie, where's Pierce? Been working on that, and I think I have the right cipher created. So, what's the problem? Oh, nothing. Sid's just asking for new programs for delivering this to you. Well, give them to him, and let's get Pierce. You haven't heard what the programs are. Ew. I've been researching your friend, Pierce. Are you sure you wish to retrieve him? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. Historically, you spend nearly half your time ridiculing him. Yeah, but it's all in good fun. Making a man who risks his life for you and what you stand for the butt of your comedy routine is all in good fun? Yes? You're a terrible person. Can you give me the goddamn cipher? I'm saving his life, you know. You don't have to convince me. Just yourself. Drink up. We're talking about this later. In the face of the Saints, Pierce Washington was always comfortable in the public's eye. Some may think he's gone soft because of this, but he's always been loyal to the crew no matter what had to get done. Damn it! Get away from me! Pierce, hang on! I'm coming! Saints flow! What the fuck is going on here? Boss, am I glad to see you? Hold on. This is your greatest fear? Marketing gone bad? Bad? Our own IP is attacking us and you're making jokes? These things are trying to kill me! Or pour you a drink, ever think of that? <laughs> okay, let me stop and ask them if they're just trying to serve me a cold, refreshing drink. That can't be good. Oh shit, come on, we need more guns. Hey, wait, you took my line. And there's a reason for it. Now move! Look out! Here comes Paul! Paul? You named it Paul? Hey man, does it matter? Shoot them rockets at him already! Pierce! You okay up there? Yeah, there's a helicopter up here I'm gonna to climb to! Think you'll be okay on your own? Get that thing and come pick me up. I'll be fine. Oh, I am never drinking a Saints Blow again. I think I know how you can beat Paul. Kenzie, the fuck have you been? How do you know its name? I've been trying to figure out how to make you large enough to fight that thing. What? Just get to the island with the big statue on it, okay? And get Paul's attention so he follows you. Where the hell is Pierce with that helicopter? Get in. Paul's not going to stay down. Figured. Kenzie's got a plan, though. Kenzie does? mind filling me in? She says we have to get to the statue. What for? Do you really think she told me? All I know is we have to get Paul to follow. To follow? She better have something big planned then. You're so afraid of this stuff. Why were you the face of the saints? Well, the money helps. And who said I was afraid of it? This is like when something you love is trying to kill you and you just can't stop it. Yeah, like dating. Huh. <laughs> exactly. Okay, get inside the statue of Joe Magarak. Now the statue has a name? Seriously, you didn't know that. Nobody tells me anything. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this 
shit! Glad you like it. All right. Let's see what old what's his name can do. Don't forget about the block button. I have a block button. I labeled it for you. I don't pay attention to these things. So do I get to drive that thing next? Keep dreaming. What the? Look out! Careful, he's gonna laser eye you again. Laser eye? Fuck, you know what I mean. Nobody tries melting my statue. That's right, Joe. Kick his aluminum ass. Don't worry, Paul. I'll pour one out for you. Oh, that's right. Pop that top. Time to make a money. Yeah, that's a good look. That's just kind of fucked up. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. Can't wait to get back to Earth. Right. Forgot to tell you. Earth got blown up. What? You tracked down Asha? I have, but it wasn't easy. Her mind is so incredibly guarded, it was difficult to trace her neural signature. Stubborn and defensive? Sounds like Asha, all right. I'll set everything up. See me when you're ready. I didn't know much about Asha Odakar before she helped to save the entire damn country, but in the years since, I've come to know her as one of the best soldiers I've ever met. If I'm gonna take down Zinyak, I want her in my crew. I just think you're really building this up. And I think you're drastically underestimating how dangerous the mind of a super spy can be. <laughs> super spy? Jesus, man, I get that you want to fuck her, but you don't have to build her a pedestal. That is beside the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, man. I get it. This is beginning to be my personal hell, too. Kinsey? What am I wearing? You should see what your face looks like. Why? What did you do to my face? Matt told me some very specific concerns that she has about you. The fuck are you talking about? Where is he? Last chance. Fuck you, slut. You're like Johnny Gat with better hair. I'm nothing like Johnny Gat. Fair, Gat was never self-righteous. Don't you dare confuse duty with self-righteousness. Yeah, because those two never fucking overlap. Says the President of the United States. You say the title like it's a dirty word. It is when the role is filled by a psychopath. Puckish Rose! <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? Who are you looking for? Your evil twin. What? Hold up. An evil twin? But I thought it was better than saying I've been sent to kill evil you. All right, so what tipped the scales? Best intelligence shows codename Mr. X is preparing a full assault against their own nation. I've been tasked with making sure they don't succeed. Ooh, sounds serious. Careful, there's a god ahead. Ooh, one guy? No problem. Let's do this without drawing attention, yeah? Shoot those lights. Why would I waste two bullets on those lights when I could just use one on the guard? Stealth missions require Did it get darker? a order of operation. Let's Maybe I should get an eye past this guard. I Careful, stay out of the light. Shh, shit, we're not vampires in this world, are we? Okay, now things are a little different. Let's first shoot out the light. Asha, that light has a family. And then take out the guard. We have to work our way into the heart of the compound. Why would evil me hire such idiots? Of course, I'll refrain dear. from commentary. Hey, the Saints are my crew. I take a bullet mm -hmm. for any one of them. Loyalty is certainly one of your strongest characteristics. Well, looks like that's it. Oh, I was just starting to warm up to your way of doing things, too. Really? No. So, can we talk about why it is you have to kill me again? Uh, you'll find out soon enough. Can't even give me a hint? Think of your worst asset, multiplied by a thousand. Sounds awesome! Gosh, is that... a person? The facility is just ahead. What kind of facility is this exactly? You'll see. Look, I know secrecy is MI6's thing, but I've had it a- Hold up. Guards. Careful. If the guards see this box in the main walkway, it'll blow our cover. Let's get behind this guy. Fuck this, I'm totally killing this guy. You what? Shh! I'm two weeks from retirement! 
I suppose that's an option. How in the hell are we gonna get past that? I hope you're limber. Even the slightest disruption of a single beam will send a 2,000 volt shock through your entire body. What we'll have to do is move through the gaps in a serpentine pattern. <laughs> yeah, fun with that. I'm taking the air duct. So an evil version of me is your worst nightmare? Uh, how do you mean? Well, I mean, according to Kinsey, every person's simulation is based on their deepest, darkest fears. Okay. You fear me being in power more than anything else? The extent of your ego is certainly terrifying at times. Oh, nice. Nice, Ash. Real nice. Stay on guard. Mr. X could be hiding anywhere. Ah, oh, sure. I thought you knew me better than that. Why would I hide when I can kill your friends in front of you? Say hello, Matt. Asha, I... Good talk. Wow, you're cold. Johnny cried like a little bitch when his girlfriend got killed. I'm not gonna give you this satisfaction. Ooh, I love it when you talk tough. Then you're gonna fucking love me, you piece of shit. You. See you soon. What the hell is this place? These are all people. They're replications of a highly functional sociopathic paradigm. You mean like Hitler? It's you. No shit. Asha, about Matt. I'm not sure what this whole thing is, but I know it isn't real. While I don't relish the idea of seeing someone I care about being murdered over and over again, I also don't see a purpose to needless blubbering. Hey, I was just... Focus. On. The. Job. I admit I was surprised to see you in here, other me. But then I realized Asha would never be able to do this without some help. Are you there, Asha? Oh, hold on, Matt wants to speak to me. Don't hey, worry, Asha. everyone How loses you to doing, me. love? Care for some tea and crumpets? Fancy a snowball? Oh, that Matt. Such a character. I wouldn't mind killing him again. Hey, as soon as you fail, get to. Yeah, not gonna lie, still not sure how to take the fact evil me is your version of hell. This isn't about you, believe it or not. Come on, you're fighting an evil me. That's what you're taking from this, your starring role. Well... I keep failing, over and over. I keep failing at my job. It doesn't matter if it's evil you or a 50-foot soda can. When the fate of the world rests on your shoulders, you can't afford failure. And that, that is my hell. Oh, well... Great! I have murder bots! They're just another target. They're all just targets. Should I be concerned with how detached you are about all this? <sighs> I've been through this scenario dozens of times. Emotional disconnection is the true weapon of the soldier. View everything from the eyes of God. Wow. Way to balance inspirational speech and totally creepy cult leader. Well, well, well. You finally managed not to fuck the whole thing up. I suppose I should congratulate you before I put a bullet in your head. Stop the chit-chat. Let's get to the us kicking your ass. How do you think you're being valiant here? Really, I get that. You're an A1 superhero, Asha. But what's done is done. You can't stop this. You never could. You fail. It's what you do. That's why you got that shit assignment babysitting a gang of thugs as they hunt it down the Remember that meeting with your superiors? When they almost stripped you of your rank? Shut up. So you failed like a thousand times already? Finally you decide to bring in help, but who do you choose? My lesser half. That sociopath has never cared about anyone else in their entire life. That so-called puckish rogue didn't even shed a tear when their best friend's girl was beheaded right in front of them. Is that what you think? Go oh, ahead. Keep on killing as much of this cannon fodder as you want. Neither of you have ever cared much about human life, so why start now? You're both failures. <laughs> An MI6 agent trying to amend for making one mistake after another. And an aimless sociopath who poisons everything we touch. Don't believe those things, just keep fighting! Well, we killed me. Yeah, we did. You smoke? I do now. Evil me was kind of an asshole. Good you was kind of an asshole. Blame my parents. Daddy issues? Nah, just... 
Forget it. Oh, don't like talking about your past. Don't see the point. Who cares what I did before I joined the Saints? Aren't you going to ask me about mine? I thought we were killing evil clones, not picking out place settings. <laughs> eh, yeah, should probably get out of here. Once more for old time's sake? Yeah, why not? It seems in retaliation for your pissing all over his nice clean prison, Zinyak is flooding the simulation with hostile gangs from another simulation. I can handle whatever that asshole throws at me. The big problem is that I can't tell how they're getting in. I'll need you to investigate this when you have a moment. If I'm gonna track where these gangs are coming from, you need to destroy the relays masking the signal. So is taking on those relays something Sid can help with? Actually, yes. I'm sending Sid in right now. Alright, Sid. How do we take these relays and stop Zenyak from messing with the simulation? I'll need to find the relays first. Some areas of the simulation offer a more advantageous mapping point than others. Let's get to one. After you. There is a lot of interference at ground level. It is too much for me to get a read. I... Need you to throw me into the sky. You can fly, Sid. Yes, but I cannot maintain the strength needed to scan the entirety of the simulation and hover at the same time. I need you to throw me into the air. A little b-ball action, huh? Let's do this. This is important work I am doing. Um, sure. Nobody else on your team could do this, right? What are you getting at, Sid? I want to be compensated for my contribution. Compensated? What do you want? A woman. A woman? What the fuck are you gonna do with a woman? I am in the prime of my life. I have been thinking. As compensation for my assistance, I would like to go out on a date with Kinsey. I don't think so. Oof, looks like she shot you down, Sid. Fine. Then perhaps Shondi would enjoy my company. Yeah, maybe if we were back in Stillwater, you'd have a shot. Where are all these old gang members coming from? Zinyak must be pulling data from somewhere. As with all the simulations, these manifest from the subconsciouses of the captives hooked into the machines. So whose subconscious are we dealing with? Johnny says the mnemonic mapping fits the profile of Johnny. See? I told you Johnny was alive. I need to look into this, but I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch. Let us go. I am earning this date. These relays have shields, Kinsey. Sid, can you take them down? For the hand of a loving partner, I would do almost anything. I'm not going on a date with you, Sid. Throw me into the shield generator and I will disable it. You need to throw me into the generator. Hmm. I suppose Asha is also a pairing option. Are we still talking about this date nonsense? It is not nonsense. I am not doing this solely for your benefit, you know. Kenzie, let's go back to talking about Johnny. My best guess is that he's here too. You can trace all these gangs back to him, right? You can find his simulation? Um, sure. I'll just focus on those relays. This is the last relay I have found. After careful consideration, I am firm in my intent to court Shandi. Court Shandi, huh? <laughs> Good luck. I do not need luck. I am quite charming. And this shell offers a variety of options when it comes to... Yeah, how are you gonna... Say, this is... Oh, okay, I'm, I'm curious, but no. This is not the time for that discussion. If you want the shield down, throwing me into the shield generator is the thing to do. When did the Vice Kings have giant robots? The Zin appear to have quite a few technologically advanced forms. I am curious why it is you chose a metal basketball for my shell. Oh, it's cute. I have personality. I do not need to be cute. I could use weapons, though. What, and have you still all my kills? What the fuck is this portal? I don't have time to explain this. Just pick up people and throw them into it. Wow. That may be the simplest explanation you've ever given. have to do better. God, I'm so Ooh. sick of having to pick up Jenna. <laughs> Tingly, That's can you uh, load up a training room? I'd like to try out what I got. Sure. One moment. So what cool new power do you have for me, Kenzie? Fire. Particularly flaming bullets. Oh, God. Why don't they have these things in the real world? And it's not just bullets. Try just getting close to people. I set people on fire just by invading their personal space? Kinsey, you are awesome. Have fun. Been a hell of a ride, hasn't it? That is an understatement. You've changed so much. We both have. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, whatever happened with that guy who won your dating show? Puerto Rican Thunder God? He was sweet and all, but performance didn't live up to the name. Look, I gotta tell you something. It always drove me crazy that you had exes in every city and were willing to go on a dating show, but 
Not once did you ever give me a shot. You never asked for one. I'm asking now. Then let's make up for lost time. Mm -hmm.